Hey everyone! Today we're gonna go for the new Datacron released at 7.4 on Ord Mantel, the daily area called Kesson's Landing. It's gonna be very excited. This is gonna be a long quest line that needs to be done first uh, before we can go get the Datacron. But fret not, you don't even have to complete the story. You can still gain access to this specific mission to get to the Datacron at the very end. So let's get started. Our starting point will be in the very south of Ardak Point, funny enough. It's inside the runoff control from Imperial Shaw will be here, Republic Shaw will be up here. You just get all the way down to the bottom here where you will see a little mission called Schematic Aspiration. As mentioned, this is a fairly long quest line, so you gotta take your time with this one and I highly Highly recommend coming on Estelle for this because of the amount of places we need to go. You just simply click the console and you pick up the mission as it is. And then you will click on the console right next to it and you simply follow the quest line to its end. I will speed this up a little bit. Once you have scanned these three locations, you will need to find your way to the subterranean power station, so that's where we'll go next. As I mentioned here, I highly recommend coming on a stealth character so you can just navigate through the amount of trash that will be in your way. And simply as that, we'll just slip into this little area. As you can see, it wants you to locate the security mainframe, which will be somewhere in here. And we will go to the south room. Once you've gone into this room, you, as you can see, you will find a place where there will be a few console, a personal scanner, will be a security access point. Those are not necessary to engage with. However, these data pads right here on the table are the ones we need to fetch. A clearance code data pad. Okay, after you've picked up this data pad, maybe with or without fighting someone, you will simply click the little icon in the corner next to your mission and it does the job for you. The data stick you need to pick up in the subterranean power station will be from an Ashal Tech Devourer. You can find them in a few locations, there will be one in this area right here and then there will also be one in the center and then simply kill it. The reason you can find out that it is this one is by the name Tech Devourer, but also because it is munching on some cables, which kind of led to... Let's kill this beast and pick up the data stick. Voila! Once you reach to the area outside in the north, which is very close to where you will find the world boss, who will be located inside the center, you need to attack the security officer, Hank, who's standing right on the corner, and he will have the next data spike. And voila again! Once you have navigated your way through the little maze here to get to Fort Running, you will just go to the corner of this building on the left side as you enter, and there will be a personnel standing around here waiting for us, just begging to be killed. Tech Devourer Trainer. He has our last data spike. Voila. Now simply just click again the icon next to your mission entry in the corner. After that, you of course just quick travel back to Ardat Point and go to the run of controls and click the console again. 
and then we examine the schematic by the little icon in the corner. That was our first mission! Next off, we are going to pick up the next few missions. These will take us off world. So advanced hypercoolant, we go to Ilum. The next one is high grade Durasteel, which will lead us to Corellia. And thermal regulator unit, which will lead us to Iocath. And we have to go all three places. Once you've landed on Corellia, you will need to go to Labor Valley. You can quick travel or you can take the tram. I'm lazy, I'll pay the price. Once you have arrived in Labor Valley, you need to obtain a testing device. For Imperials, that will be outside of the Imperial War Camp where you arrive, and for Republic at the Republic base. You will just follow to the marker near your own base, and you will have to kill an enemy of the opposite faction, a rocket gunner, which will be a strong enemy, one of the silver ones, so you know what to go for. So for us, it's a Republic rocket gunner. For Republics, it will be an Imperial rocket gunner. Pick up the testing device, and then you will follow to the next part of the mission, which will be right up here for us. It will be exactly the same on Republic side, near the base, so just follow the quest marker. Once you have destroyed your test subject right here, you know, couldn't stand against you, you need to find suitable Durasteel. You will find these at these three locations. The Republic one is very easy to get to because you have a quick travel point right here. So if you already have that unlocked, it will be easy for you to get to. For us Imperials, we're going to have to travel a bit. You choose yourself which one to go to. Once you reach one of the locations you have chosen, I went with the one in the center that was closed for Republics as well. You will find a crashed something here. I'm guessing it's some form of ship. And you can see a bunch of clickable Durasteel plates. You will simply click it and attack it with your rocket. And now you can pick up a high grade Durasteel. All you need to do for this one is now verify it. But we're going to do that a little bit later. Once you have landed on Ilum, you need to get to the area up here in the northwest, which is where you'll find a lot of tolls. This will be enemy area for Imperials, but friendly for Republic. It's just a longer way for Republic to get here. So let's get going. Once you reach the Starlit Pass, you will see it's full of tolls. And for me, that that is a bunch of enemies so i'm gonna sneak around here in between all of their housings and i'm gonna find one of these barrels that looks like you would normally explode them which is an empty hyper cooling container and we'll simply loot it next up you need to extract hyper cooling chemi crystals you will find them in a few locations so up here and in the center so they're pretty easy to get to but it's a large area to search for so now i'm going to show you exactly what it is we're searching for so what we are needing are these these big light sources it almost seems like are actual chemi crystal deposits so you simply will follow up to them. As soon as they show the red arrow, it means you can loot them. If they don't have the arrow, they're already empty, so you have to go searching for more. Once you have looted the final one, you now need to collect an enzyme probe kit. You will do that from your own way station, so either Imperial way station if you are Imperial, Republic way station if you are republic so simply just quick travel to whichever one you belong to
There will be a few probes scattered around on the ground and you will simply loot the one you need. An Enzymer. For the next part, we need to find a Tauntaun. So, there are a bunch of non-hostile, but can still be attack kind of Tauntauns in the area, marked with yellow text. Means you can kill them, but they're not hostile unless you attack them. So, uh, let's go hunting. So, I found one that was not that far away from the base, which is exactly what you can from Republic Way Station as well. They're not far from where your way station is, and you simply go up to it, click it, and then you will click the icon next to your mission. But don't worry, you will not hurt it. I said as it became hostile. This did not happen on Republic side. No fight. <laughs> Let's get going. Safe distance away from the Tauntaun, you will click the icon again to, combi to combine the material. <laughs> so the next part here can be a little bit tricky. So we need to expose the container to extreme cold. For some of you who have followed my Datacron guides, you know that there is a Datacron down in the southeast corner, which is within the exhaustion zone. So this is, of course, where we need to go. For Republic players, this is pretty simple to get to. You just go through the heroic area right here. But for Imperial players, it's quite a trek down here. So good luck. Be wary when you get to the Republic base as an Imperial player, because there is a bunch of champion guards. So just be a little bit cautious with those. Other than that, we are now at the exhaustion zone, so let's run in and get some cold feet. It is beginning to react. We are in exhaustion zone, I know. Oh, we got it. It has now been verified. Bring a healing companion with you if you feel more safe with that. But that is right there what we need to do. It has been done. Now it just needs to be verified just like the high grade Durasteel. So for the Ironcath mission it's pretty easy. You just need to obtain some loot from some scour swarms, some probe droids and some caretakers. They're easy to find. There are plenty of them. So once you land on Ironcath you will be at the Alliance base. So you will go towards one of the elevators imperial or republic depending on which one you have sided with and you will just get out into the bigger area of ioka now we just need to go hunting find some scout droids and probe droids and some caretakers and there'll be plenty of them all around the main area of ioka Once you have looted all of the items you need, we just need to take the tram here to the factory. This will be from Imperial side, it will be the tram right here in the south, and for Republics it will be this one right here. Just follow the quest marker and you will reach your destination. Once inside the weapons factory, you'll be surrounded by a bunch of enemies. You will get to the circular area right here where you will be able to fabricate a regular unit from one of these battery looking areas. We might have to kill some enemies in the way, but that will be simple enough. Now simply click the fabricator. Next up, we will have to go into the next room where we have to charge it. So uh, let's uh, sneak our way in. Once you get into this room, you will see two cylinder looking with some charging between them. You just jump down to them and stand near them and you will be getting a temporary ability bar that will say hyper charge unit. 
simple, simple. Now we just need to expose the regul regulators to transductive rays. So many things. So let's get out of here again. This one is pretty simple as well. As you can see, there are a whole lot of places you can do it right outside the tram system, whichever one you go to. And you will just follow the quest line and it is basically a teleport into the next area. Now that is done, you just need to get to the tram that will be right next to the teleport, which will lead you into the super weapon compound tram. Some of you guys will know it. If you are raiders, you will be there quite often. So you can basically just quick travel there if you want to as well, but it's so close. Let's, let's go the proper way. Super weapon command center. When you get into here, you will follow up where you will see the throne looking to mighty fine. You've probably seen this in several occasions, but we will go behind and uh, deal with the panel in the back. And now this just needs to be verified. All three items need to be verified, so we will go back to Old Mantel. Once you've arrived back to the run of control, you will see a new console being all glowy with some items on as well. So it's three different ones you need to click. So let's take one at a time. To the next part of the mission subjective selection we need to find a location for a suitable test lab this will be easy as you exit the run of controls you will just follow the path down to a personal phase entrance and that will be our little laboratory click the panel on the inside and let's get started You will see there's a bunch of uh, green arrows where you need to go to, which will give you a temporary mission, no, temporary ability, which will be examine equipment here in the corner. Next to the lava right here, I will advise not to walk into it. You will burn. And then right here at the table. Now comes the fun part. So the next part here is the peculiar one. You need to scan for suitable test subjects. You need to do that outside of audit point, which will be at these two locations near the world boss and then in the south of that. I, of course, have cheated a little bit because I know what we're looking for. So I have gone for the south point where you will find a field. There will be some enemies around, some freedom uh, prototypes and so on. But in this field, you can see there's some buried gong droid feet. So uh, let's scan them. Well, isn't that just grand? Exactly what we were looking for. Let's return to the lab. Getting back to the lab, we will place our parts from this gongroid right on the table. It will not be anything that looks clickable, but as soon as you hover the mouse over it, you will see that it makes a little finger. So this is what you interact with. Just FYI. Ability, assess damage.
now let's require some parts for this little boy first part is easy to find which is the parts vendor right outside your instance in this little open area right here he will sell a droid repair kit for just a hundred credits you will pick it up open your inventory and use the droid repair kit Next up is inside the cantina here, very cozy little place with uh, not that many patrons, but you can see there's a few panels, wire boxes that you need to interact with. So let's loot that. Last but not least, we need to find a motivator unit. So let's kill one of these liberator droids and uh, loot it. Now we'll go back to the lab again. Inside the lab, you will interact with the little gunk and see if we can't repair it. And place it on the little pedestal that it deserves. That didn't go that well, so let's click it again. Let's see what happens. That was a mistake. Your temporary ability bars, you will click them one at a time. It doesn't matter really which order you do it in. It has been shielded. Let's click the panel and a test away. Ouch. I feel sorry for the little guy. And final one. Now we just need to access research database or data bank which will be inside the runoff controls again. And click the icon, add your mission. End of subjective selection. On to next mission, which will be good calibrations. Let's find a diagnostic tool. Diagnostic tool you find inside your own lab again, so straightforward to your own personal instance. Follow the arrows, you're gonna do this quite a lot, so get used to them. But special ability again, collect data. Now we need to gather old Mantel data, so uh, let's do this. Once you have reached the approximate location for your data hunting, you will need to find five very specific locations for it. I will mark them right here on the map for you so you will know where to go. One of them being right inside the lava flooded tunnel, which we will start with.
now that you've found all five, let's go to Oricon and do the same right there. Once an Oricon and you have reached you, your approximate location again, which is just west of the tower, you will find a bunch of these corrupted geobees that you need to kill and loot three items from. Fairly simple and straightforward. The two data locations I will mark right here on the map for you so you can also easily find them. And next up, we will go to Quesh. Again, once you've arrived on Quesh, all you need to do is to find some Lobel, Havrab and Prowlers. They will be easy to find all over the map and they will also be located near your data points. I will specify right here on the map on where to find these data locations so you know where to go. And one area will be easy to get to for Imperius because we have a quick travel point and the other one is easy to get to for Republic because they have their quick travel point. But either way, you have to get to both of them. Now we just simply need to upload the data samples back on Old Mantel. Once back at Old Mantel, you will go back to the runoff control center, but here you are gonna experience a little um, ambush from Separatists that has destroyed the console. Once you have killed them, you need to examine the damage. And that ends the mission! Means we're off to the next one. There's always a backup. You will use the ability attempt data recovery, which will lead to a failed attempt because it's just too damaged. So we're returning to the security mainframe, which is of course still out in the subterranean power station. Once back in the south room again, you will see three data banks that you need to interact with. There will be enemies around them, and if you have stealth, you can kind of navigate past some of them, but you will most likely have to fight your way through. Now we need to find the backup terminal. This part is a little bit tricky because as it mentions, hint, examine personal logs. The personal logs you will find in your mission items tab in your inventory. You will find three logs of invaders, important and career goals. Career goals mention specifically hyper matter manufacturer oversight. And if some of you have been around a long time, knows that this is related to Black Hole on Corellia, another daily area from way back in the day. 
there's also the important log which has to do with a puzzle that we will figure out later on so we'll get back to that one but this is where i want to give a little shout out to sinrai from chibo hunters discord he helped me narrow down the search in black hole so thank you so much for that one so let's go to black hole on Corellia. Remember to select black hole. Once you have reached the black hole, you need to find your way to the building here in the east, which is approximately the midpoint from both Imperial and Republic outposts. This area right here is named Hypermatter Engineering Facility. That sounds exactly like the kind of thing we're searching for. Again, I recommend going on a stealth because there's a lot of enemies in here and it gets a little bit boring. So follow the path all the way through the building into the very, very back room where you will find a Torvix Overseer and a terminal. When you get close, this is there we need to slice the terminal and this is exactly where you will need then the personal log important because it says remember hello mean head blurple this is a hint hint to the colors you need to click so it's just rhyming with the colors so yellow green red purple And then you'll finish off with code input confirmation. And simply click the little icon, add your mission, and you're done. So now you have a new mission at the output terminal that you need to pick up, which is called Test Plan. Here we need to obtain fabricator components. So we are re revisiting Iocath again. Yay! Same as before, you land at the Alliance base and you will find your way out into the Iocath expanse from either Imperial or Republic outposts. You will then again find your way to the factory tram system. This will be the Republic one, this will be the Imperial one, and we will go back inside to find some fabricated components. In here you will find a bunch of boxes that are clickable, so you'll just engage with them and loot the content inside. Now we just need to download the fabricator plans, which will be in the area again south of here. So let's find our way back in there. Straightforward to panels that are clickable and that is simply what you do. Download. Now we'll return to our lab back on Ordmantel again and we're getting close to the end. Returning to the lab, we will now have to install the fabricator frame, which will be over in the corner. Again, there's nothing looking like you can click on it, but it will indicate again with a hand. Click the terminal. Now we will use the abilities again, Fabricate Upgraded Plating. Fabricate Upgraded Coolant. And Fabricate Regulator Upgrade. Now 
our loot and collect the pieces from our little gun droid. Now we're gonna try and assemble him back on the table. Oh, look at that, so cute. Activate again. And now we will install the upgrade, so hopefully this time he will feel much better. Click the next panel. And observe the results. Oh no. Look at the little guy. He is all sad and scared. So what are we gonna do? We're of course gonna cheer on him. Come on, little guy. That's kind of a uh, positive result. So we are gonna claim the shielding unit, which will be very useful for us. So you click the little icon again at your mission to activate the shielding unit, which will activate on us. And now we can walk up in the lava and be saved. It's success. And by that, you of course thank your little gong droid friend. Thank you very much. You have now successfully created a shield unit generator that we are going to place back at the landing platform. For Imperials, that will of course be at the Imperial Shuttle, whereas for Republics, it will be up here. So just follow the quest and click on the wall, which will now plant the device that you can reactivate this will grant you technological breakthrough achievement as well as a clickable shield unit button that you can activate every time you go to old mantel which will give you a buff that's called geothermal shield it's now we're off to find the datacron but before we can do that you need to go to this location in ardak point there is a building right here where you will see a bunch of speeder bikes being repaired on inside. This is also where there's a personal space, which I believe is for Imperials. And you're going to need to find a data pad in here or an access card. It can be located at random in here. So let's see if we can find it. Ah, look at that. We're lucky right next to Greel, right on the shelf. There's a worn access card. This is what you're looking for. You will need this for the data cron. Once you have picked up your access card, you will travel to the south quick travel point called Solitude's Lace, which is right where the lava flow meets the water, creating this mist, which we were told that this water live stream is called a lace. And if you're really corning, it just looks a lacing. This is where we will find the entrance to our Datacron, which is up in the lava flow. When you scroll out, you'll be able to see there's just a slight little entrance here. And this is, of course, where you will need your geothermal shield buff. I recommend going on a mount here because you don't have much time to reach up to the first part. So let's do it step by step. You want to reach each of these cliff formations within five seconds because then you have no recharge time on the shield itself, which will make it much faster. In here, you can of course not be on a mount, so you will now be demounted and you have to jump to each of these sections. But let's see if we can't just kind of look in. You will jump to this part 
and you can jump up to the middle but i recommend just running to the other end if you on a sorcerer like me or maybe on a scoundrel operative you will have some form of speed buff which will be very useful okay let's do this You know you're at the right place when you reach this medical droid and a uh, personal phase that you can't enter and this is where you will find your final mission at an access terminal that is called Lava Problems. Pick this up and you will enter and once you're inside if you exit you're gonna have to pick up the mission again and it starts over. In here, there's a few things you need to navigate around. So right here, there are two buttons, systems flush, routine execution. There is a safety release valve right here. There is a terminal called operations control station. And in the back here, also system access terminal. The Datacron is in a very long way around in through the overflow droid factory. And this is where we need to get into the end. What you want to do is you access the system access terminal first, then operation control station, then you want to go with system flush, then safety release, and finally routine execution unit. So let's give this a try. Have enemies spawning separate chompers they're easy enough just kill these quickly and then run through to the next area The lava flow right here you jump over if you go through the lava it's fine because you have your shield but then you pick up the high powered missiles which will give you an extra ability when you go through here you'll get gold savrips coming after you and you need to use the rockets on them the small ones are easy to kill as you go but you will want to use your missile on them both to interrupt them, but also to kill them. If you're struggling with the rocket, you can also just kill them normally. Just be wary with them because, as you see, they have a stunning leap, which means that when they hit you, they will stun you and they can also knock you down which will be very painful if you're standing next to the edge where you can hit the lava. Finally, they all kill. You will might be in combat because one of the droids down here are aware of you, but fret not. They will be here no matter what. There is a terminal here as well that is droid deployment monitor. When you click them, you see all these shields. This is basically showing you where all the droids are going to be. They are not dangerous. They won't do anything to you. But as you run down this way, they will basically slow you which can be annoying when you're running through lava flow of course if you use a stealth out you will see that you will get past it very easily but they will still be in the area and when you get close enough they will be able to spot you as well so in this lava flow what i aim for usually is that i run to this plate right here wait for my shield to recharge 
I'll run to this one and the same again and then to the final one. Once you get to the final, you get out of combat and it's over. So let's try this. So you see, he's now in combat with me, which will automatically slow me down a little bit because you are in combat. So I recommend that you wait till your speed buffs are back on. For me, it is four speed, but it can be all kinds of other things for various combat styles. But if you get too close to the droid, it will activate this, which will give you a slow, which will make you very slow. So try not to get too close to them and then just wait for your speed buff to get back on again. Finally, we are out of combat and now you just need to jump over the edge here and not into the lava. Once you're inside the cave right here, there will be a terminal called Shielding Systems Override. This one will be on a time. It's approximately two and a half minutes you have to run from here up to this section where there will be a champion droid. The champion droid will only be available after you click this and you need to kill it as fast as possible. So I recommend using Heroic Moment to output your damage. it is killed the reason why you need to kill this is of course because you need to loot the detonation unit you will need this to get through the door over here moving on remember mind the gap jump right here and then kill these Grapple probes just in case. It's not super necessary, but they will be kind of in your way, so you might as well just get rid of them. In case the scenario where something is mishapped and you don't make it to the door, don't fret, you can jump right off here and start over again from the lava flow. But we are now at the door, so we are gonna click it, which will leave a bomb that detonates in a few seconds. We're now inside the abandoned droid facility or factory and we have to make our way here. If you die in here, you are not sent to the exit and you will be able to be rest right at your own location. So if you die, it's okay. There will be three droids here you need to deal with first and they will try and pull you into the lava. Um, one will be at the far edge right here, which is going to be the most annoying one for you. So let's uh, give it a go. Whew. Hey, even without a shield, you can survive a few moments in lava if you have a healing companion with you, which I highly recommend to have. Because there's going to be a lot of lava in here that's going to be very annoying. And it, of course, also slows you down. So, ouchie is all I can say about that. Moving on. We are on the final stretch, which is all the way down here. This is going to be the very annoying part for most of you. Uh, which it was for me as well. 
there will be a few grapple probes which will be very annoying and as you can see there's also a high powered missile so you know what that means there's gonna be some sap ribs who's gonna try and pummel you so we're gonna try and reach that first of course get this one so we are prepared and then it's a matter of reaching the end you can go by section to section and try and deal with the enemies as you go to be honest when i did the very first time i ran to the end and dealt with the enemies at the end so let's see how it goes maybe i'll totally fail and um let's go We are running. Ooh, that did not go so well. We are running. Run to the end and hide behind here. Let your companion follow you. And then just kill whatever enemies are up here. If this is very tough for you, I recommend, I recommend bringing a friend because this is a little bit tough. You no longer have... You no, no longer have your rocket so you're gonna have to deal with the stunning leaps which will be annoying and there's nothing you can do about it ladies and gentle beings your data cron enjoy watching i hope this was very helpful so if you like this video please like and subscribe and all that good stuff and if you need help with your further datacron hunts then check out the playlist up in the corner i'll see you in the next one bye